So this plant shopping expedition turned into something totally different than I was expecting. I went to Oakdale Greenhouse, which is a really great nursery here in Charlotte. They have tons of house plants, but it was the most rare plants and cool plants that I've seen there ever. So what originally started as like, let me just kind of see what they have, ended up being an over budget but worth it video and I love the plants I found. I'm so excited to share this plant shopping trip with all of you and if you're in the Charlotte area after this video I imagine you'll go and pick some plants up so definitely let me know what you would have picked out today, anything that you're seeing on the market. If you end up going to Gre Oakdale Greenhouse and picking something up let me know and if you're new welcome my name's Ashley and as you can see I am a crazy plant lady and proud so if that brings a smile to your face you can subscribe for episodes to show up in your your newsfeed I do a lot of like shopping and good planty vibes always good planty content and we also have a really great community on Instagram now one of the things so many of us struggle with when it comes to our plants is making sure we have the right type of water so a lot of us end up using distilled water you know we'll let our water sit out for a long time hoping that the chlorine ev evaporates it's just really like an endless struggle and I've started using a water filtration system that I'm really excited to share with all of you and it's actually the sponsor of this video. So a huge thank you to Aquasana for not just sponsoring this video but really helping me provide the best water possible not just for me but to my family and to my dog and really helping you know take a huge step out of and worry out of caring for all of my plants. Aquasonar offers filtration systems that provide maximum contaminant reduction while leaving beneficial minerals like potassium, calcium, and magnesium in the water. They have amazing options and I decided to go with the under the sink filtration system. The reason why I chose this one is it's an easy install for under your sink system. It allows for instant access to filtered water from any existing faucet, so no dedicated faucet required. This system reduces 77 contaminants, including chlorine, which we know is so important with plants, cysts, lead, mercury, PFAS, VOCs, and more. If you guys are ready to start drinking cleaner, healthier water, click the link below to start shopping and use code AshleyAnita55 to get 55% off all filters plus free shipping. So don't forget as I'm shopping to let me know what you would have picked up today and I share my haul at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. This was like such a fun, fun shopping trip. I'm really excited to hear what all of you think. They have so many beautiful plants. I mean, just off the bat, I'm kind of in shock. For example, first up is this Epipremnum pinnatum variegated neon. I have not seen one of these before. This is 65. I'm so excited to see what they have in stock. They have Florida green, $29.95. Such a fabulous, fabulous plant. Over on this side, they have these stunning Philodendron Summer Glory, which is a hybrid, I think, of something like the Pastazanum or Gloriosum with a Macaulay's Finale, some, some sort of hybrid like that. Please feel free to um, let me know exactly what it is in the comments because it's so beautiful. They're $69.95. Those are just some of the rare plants that I noticed upon walk. What is this? Wow, guys, what do you think? Holy cow, what is this one? Philodendron Green Princess, 79. How beautiful. I don't see it on any of the other leaves. Oh, so much good stuff. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. I came in on a good day. I'd like to start over here because this is where they have a lot of their uncommon plants. Kind of like this whole aisle here is uncommon and rare plants. 
and it seems like they're stocked up. Oh my gosh, <gasps> they have a philodendron giganteum blizzard. This is one of my favorite, favorite philodendrons. Um, mine is so variegated and beautiful. They have them for 84. Oh, I'm so tempted to get another one. <gasps> Such a gorgeous plant. This is the only place I've ever seen them in Charlotte. I cannot believe they have them here. I've never seen them out and about before. I had to, um, mine was an online order. So that's pretty amazing. They have the Ficus Shiveriana Moonshine, $29.95. Look at this Ficus, everybody. The last time I posted um, about this, everyone was commenting how they're wanting to get their hands on one of these and $30 and it's a nice, Kind of a nice sized ones. Um, I got a very, very tiny one initially and it was such a good deal, but the smaller plants sometimes have a harder time making it. So mine didn't make it, but this is a maybe. Ooh, this is a Mirabellus 69.95. Look at those leaves. I wonder what this one, either, this is either a Melanochrysum or a Splendid. Oh wait, that's the, for the fuzzy petiole. Melanochrysum, so beautiful. They are 69. They have some more Florida green over here, 1995 for the Florida green. Whoa, they have Philodendron Pariso Verde. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these get more variegated as the weather becomes warmer. So you can kind of tell as the plant grows up. Um, the variegated leaves were during maybe the summer and growing months and then the non-variegated leaves are in the cooler months. But like you can see here, um, one of the more like variegated leaves, but this is a really beautiful plant. The leaves get huge. Like this is such a good find, $74. Now the more uncommon rare plants are going to be expensive, especially here in Charlotte. We don't have a lot of stores that carry rare and uncommon plants and sometimes it's worth paying a little bit more to get it from a local nursery where you can really suss it out see if it's in good shape assess how healthy it is versus trying to order it online and a lot of times these plants are a little bit larger for the price so it, there's a little bit of give and take um it looks like a beautiful piper crocatum 59 i love this plant isn't it so beautiful like the really gorgeous shape of the leaves and the silvery and then they're pink on the back sides just so gorgeous ooh anthurium radican ex luxuriens 89 oh my gosh guys i have a feeling this is going to be an over budget but worth it video because i'm seeing some plants what is this? philodendron birkins pink What do you th make of this, everybody? I have not heard of a philodendron Birkins pink. It's really pretty. That's fascinating. How much are they? $54.95. Very interesting. Ooh, an Alocasia Jacqueline. How beautiful. Now I will go on the back side over there because there are even more beautiful rare plants. The fans are a little loud over there, so we'll see um look at this alocasia portel 29.95 oh my goodness this looks so much like a philodendron oh my goodness how beautiful are those leaves geogenanthus pobeget 29 some more philonochrys um some more philodendron melanochrysum Nice size leaves, good size, 69. Holy cow, look at these white wizard. <gasps> Whoa, these are 59.95. Look at the size of these leaves. Look at this white one, it's so beautiful. This is a big plant. Oh my word. If and I wouldn't have just, like I have two of these white wizard already, but that is so, wow, look at this one. It has multiple half moons. So, um, you don't want to go with one that has too much variegation. For instance, this one over here that has the all white leaf. Although it's so beautiful, that leaf dies off really fast and it's, you know, it can be considered parasitic to the plant because it doesn't have 
the opportunity to produce chlorophyll. So it ends up dying off and it's not helping the plant at all. It's actually kind of taking away. Um, but if you have one like this, that has at least the opportunity to make some chlorophyll with the green side, that's pretty desirable right there. And it has a few of those. Wow, this one is really like a straight up half moon. This one's beautiful, 59. Yeah, I would get this in a heartbeat if I didn't already have two of those plants. Holy, holy cow, that's so pretty. They have a Raphidophora um, dragon tail. That one is 79. Ooh, there's some anthuriums back there. I've been itching to get my hands on a really uh, nice anthurium. Like I haven't bought a beautiful heart leaf shaped anthurium in forever. So I'm gonna go back there in a minute and see. We have white princess as well as white knight. Oh my word. Never see white princess around. And for $39, that is such a great deal. Wow. Oh my gosh, they have Gloriosums. I am shocked. $24 for the Gloriosums. That is a great deal. Homolonema humilis black, $44.95. I don't know much about this plant. Do you all know anything about this plant? It's really um, velvety and red. They have Calathea yellow fusion, a, an uncommon type of Calathea, 29. Here are some more of the Piper crocatums. They're so lovely. $59.95, like this really is a good demonstration and um, of how beautiful these leaves are. If you, if you don't get to them in time with watering though, they will die immediately. Here we have some Anthurium, Big Red Bird, $29.95. They have some fun homolonemas over here. Lindenii Sunshine Gem, $29. Aglionema Red Slam back or Red Siam, Red Slam, I'm not sure, $19.95. Calathea Velvet Touch, $19.95. <gasps> I was not expecting this today. Oh, my day is made, and I haven't even hardly started yet. Xanthosoma Mickey Mouse, $24.95. That's a nice deal on these, and they're a good size too. Uh, Alocasia Silver Dragons, $39.95. I really like this type of Alocasia. Um, mine's bounced back, it died off, went dormant, came right back with a vengeance. So I have a little special place in my heart for this one, as well as the Alocasia Black Velvet. It's like such wonderful, wonderful plants. They have Epipremnum pinnatum albo 59. This is such a great Epipremnum, and I like the shape of the leaves. It does become highly variegated. It can fenestrate, as you see here. There's some nice fenestrations on that leaf. So beautiful. Uh, Philodendron Splendid, 74. I think I got my Splendid from here, and it's doing really well. <gasps> they have Philodendron Mamii, $39. How fabulous. $39 for this Mammy Eye is a steal, and I'm considering it. I have one, but it would be really nice to have another one. Hmm. <laughs> wow, that one's really pretty, actually. Okay, okay. Philodendron Jose Bono, $49. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. These do become very um, variegated as well. I think this is another one of those, like it changes the variegation is more or less depending on the weather. Again, you know, keep me honest in the comments. I always appreciate it. There's some Anthurium pterodactyl. This is the one I was kind of looking at from over there. This has beautiful heart shaped, and I think pterodactyl is a hybrid of something. $44, look at this one. This one's really pretty. I'd probably get this one if I was going to. And $44, oh no, this one's 59, this one's bigger. Okay, a little bit, $10 or so more and you get a really big plant. Look, it's blooming. Oh my gosh, I could probably rub some of these stem, these um together and get some seeds on one of these babies before I take it home wow that one's beautiful okay that's a maybe um there's a lot of maybes again i think this is going to be an over budget but worth it but i'm really going to try to limit myself because good lord 
Nepenthes red arrow. Ooh, so this is a red arrow syngonium. Interesting. $21. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Hmm. Monstera Paniti Partita, 59. So this is very similar to the Monstera Peru. However, the leaves have a, a much bigger shape. They become fenestrated. Pink Princess over here, $49.95. They have some really lovely painted ladies, $39. Wow. Alocasia Jacqueline, 74. This alocasia is really pretty. Those leaves are intense. Oh, this is that um, philodendron Birkins pink for 54. Like, look at that variegated leaf. Let me know about this one. What do you guys know about this plant? I'm very curious. It's beautiful. Here we have um, some Adansonii, and they have a lot of different sizes. It looks like they have the wide leaf and the narrow leaf form, depending on what you prefer. Here are some of the narrow leaf options, just so you can see. The bigger they get, the more fenestrated they get, but the leaves do stay somewhat narrow. And then you have over here, which is the more like wide leaf form. Um, so, you know, it just comes down to personal preference, really. I like both. You guys know me, I'm like, appreciate them all for different reasons. Here's some ZZ plants, 14. Um, some more ZZ. Looks like they have Raven ZZs here for 32. Oh, ooh, look guys, they have the um, ZZ Zenzi. Here, I'll show you the name so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. $29.95, that's a good price. And I love this. You know, I'm a ZZ holic <laughs> and uh, the, you know, I love to collect them all. And this is a great one. It's like a dwarf ZZ, so it has compact leaves. Ooh, so here we have a ZZ Oscura 32. Looks very similar to the Raven ZZ. I'd love to learn more. Here's another one. This is a Lucky, a Lucky ZZ. Interesting, 24. So maybe let me know what the difference differences are. I always appreciate you guys kind of filling me in. Green Maranta player, um, prayer plant, player. Uh, Maranta red prayer plant. Oh, I'm stuck on player plant. That, player plant, that's gonna be it now. Maranta lemon, 995. Maranta red. Look at the differences between the red and the lemon. Aren't they beautiful? This was one of those plants when I first started collecting. I just thought it was the coolest looking plant I'd ever seen. It still is, I love it. Um, and they're easy. So if you're thinking about one, it's a good, it's a good choice. Golden Pothos, always a winner, 1695. Pothos Silver Satin, 19. Pothos Jade, Marble Queen, 16. So lovely. And here's the Pothos Hawaiian. This is that really golden color. So you have your Marble Queen there. Hawaiian. This one's Snow Queen. Basically just a very variegated Marble Queen. And then Pearls and Jade and Neon over there. Wow, some really large size Diffenbachias here. These are 39. 39 to 49. They're really huge, you know, in the gallon and then some pots. They have some huge calatheas. Now, Oakdale's a great place to come if you're looking for a large size plant because they will have, in addition to the small plants, some nice large options. And I find that large options are, you know, reasonably priced. Here we come back on that, what's labeled as a green princess with that sport variegation. <gasps> Wow, that's tempting. If I felt I could propagate it or something, I would, wouldn't would hesitate because I've, that could be really valuable, especially being such a large leaf. If you did like a top cutting, look, it's flowering. Yeah, you could do a top cutting of that. And that's true variegation right there. That's not just like, some. look, it's underneath it as well. Look, it's underneath as well. What do you guys think? <gasps> oh, yes, I'll take them all, please. <laughs> this is a beautiful Alocasia um, Sumo 139. It's big. Like, sometimes things don't 
portray as their actual size on camera, but that's massive. This is an alocasia. Here's another philodendron. This is philodendron red radiatum. Stunning. Have some peace lilies over here. These huge ones are 49. Beautiful, some more alocasias, a lot of dracaena. I mean, if I were to go over every plant, I would literally, this would be a three hour long video. So I'm just kind of pointing out the ones that stand out to me. Calathea Maui Queen, $49.95. And if you see one that you've been looking for, or you think I should kind of point out next time I'm shopping, definitely let me know. This one's beautiful, Diffenbachia Elena, 44. <gasps> I think this was one that I really admired the last time I was here. I love the, just the way the variegation looks on those leaves. 44, like this is pretty too, you know, like that's pretty, but for some reason this one, cause it's really patchy, I don't know, it just does it for me. love taking a look at this gorgeous vanilla plant they have here I think they take cuttings off of it and sell it but it's always so gorgeous I've been particularly stressed out lately and I have to say I needed this today even if I weren't to buy anything just coming here and like being amongst the plants and being in the fresh air and so I would recommend if you're just you know in a frame of mind or just having one of those days or whatever it is figure out where you can go and take 30 minutes even and go walk amongst the plants and get some fresh air because um, it can change your entire day and I'm here for you guys just like you're here for me and I always appreciate it okay <laughs> let's get back to the plants look at this philodendron black cardinal 1995. So beautiful. Ooh, look at this one. Philodendron Campii Lynette, 74.95. This is cool. Man, I wish it wasn't 74. I'd probably get it. This is really pretty. Isn't this neat? I'm. I saw a small one of these here the last time, and I almost got it. But I love the little like lines in the leaf amazing prince of orange getting into those really bright philodendrons prince of orange 19 moonlight 19 uh, macaulay finale 19 that's a good deal on that philodendron new red 24 very very cool just like philodendron ruby kind of hidden back there some big prints of orange imperial green they also have a lot of big hanging baskets of pothos so this one's a global green and it's 44. oh <gasps> look at this it's um Nepen nepenthes wendlandii and it's the, so it's a syngonium and i've been wanting one of these oh my gosh 69 dollars for a huge huge pot of this Okay, this goes on the maybe list for sure. I am obsessed. Oh my gosh. It's so velvety, so beautiful. I love that it's a big plant so I won't like kill it immediately. I am really excited about that. I cannot believe it. Oh, they have variegated strawberry begonias. I've only ever seen this one place before and it was at Big Bloomers. It's two hours away and I would love to get another one. Oh my goodness, $16.95 for this nice basket. Okay, that is a maybe as well. Look at that. We normally see like the solid green strawberry begonias. And this one's so pink and so beautiful. Oh my gosh, okay. Ooh, look at this, look at this. Goldfish Champagne Jam 32. Is this a goldfish plant? Can you let me know in the comments? It's beautiful, beautiful. I feel like somebody commented that they were looking for one of these not long ago that I spoke with. 32, gosh, I wish I could remember who it was and tell them they have some here. Um, 
Oh, a lipstick plant. You guys know I'm all about the lipstick plants lately. So beautiful. Ooh, I almost missed it. They have Dark Lord philodendrons, $44.95. They're big. I love my Dark Lord. It's a good grower and it's just beautiful. Just be careful when you, um, if you cut it because the sap is red. Philodendron Prince of Orange, Red Heart. Little cutie. I think these Red Heart ones stay pretty small. They have Imperial Green, Red Sun. Okay, yeah, let's move on to this aisle and then we'll go into this other greenhouse on my right. But they have a lot of really great snake plants here. They have the variegated whale fins over here, 59. Look how cute. They have the solid green whale fins. This is my favorite form of whale fin where it just has the one leaf coming out of the pot. I just, that's my favorite thing. Whale fin's my favorite snake plant. Maybe that's cliche, but I just love it. Like, look at this one, 39, with that huge, huge leaf coming out. That's, that's like, to me, that would be my favorite. And even the solid green. I, I don't know, maybe I prefer that over the variegated one. I know the variegated one's more uncommon and expensive, but I kind of have a thing about just the solid green leaf, especially if that one was like opened up more just looks so freaking cool in the right pot too oh my gosh such a statement plant and so easy you just leave it for a month you know um moonshine snake plant yellow yellowstone black dragon robusta these are all 16 to 24 dollars i always like to name off prices because depending on where we live the prices really vary snake plant 16 it's so one of my favorite things is the fact that so many people that are plant lovers and are part of our community live all over and it's so neat to see like the differing prices sometimes people will let me know silver Laurentii 19 black coral 19 big moonshine 39 Silenica 39 these are big size ones here's the Yellowstone Sayuri I think Sayuri is a really beautiful snake plant like the white variegation and the long, beautiful leaves, 39. Silver Laurentii. This is my first time, I think, seeing a Silver Laurentii. Because we see it's Laurentii and variegated Laurentii all the time. But this one has like, you see where it would normally be dark green? It's like a silver, silver blue. 49. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, black coral. Here's the, the kind of regular Laurentii. 49. All right, coming into the second greenhouse. In here we have Hoyas and cacti and succulents and string of, so many cool plants. And then the third greenhouse will have all the begonias and peperomias, ferns, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so I'm just taking a peek over here. Lots of string of, they have string of bananas and they have variegated string of pearls. They have small ones. If you want to start with a small one, they have large ones. The small ones, like here's a variegated string of hearts, $9.99. So cute. And then you can get like a larger variegated string of pearls, $21.95. Burrow's tail, string of bananas, so cool. Here's some more string of, string of pearls variegated. That's a not bad deal, actually. I really like it, but mine was such a slow grower. Here we have some string of hearts, but for $11, I think that's a steal. All right, I really wanna take a look at the Hoyas. They have a lot of Hoyas here on this table, some really big ones, hanging ones, so let's see. Here we have your um, Crimson Princess. Oh, I'm sorry, Crimson Queen and they have a really huge macrophylla. These leaves are really big. Oh, this one's flat. Oh my goodness. Look at this Hoya. It has so many blooms on there. Oh, happy, happy Hoyas. Crimson Princess, Carnosa. Okay, coming into some of the ones I don't see all the time. Patchy Clotta, 1995. This looks like a black margin. Hoya Pubera, $24.95. I really like these small, delicate leaves and they're very fuzzy. 
This is pretty. Look how they um, did the trellis for this Hoya Carnosa Compacta. Some really large Hoya Carii, some of the largest I've seen, 74. And we have the Hoya Australa. And then we have the Hoya Australis over here. Hoya Retusa down here. Hoya Sigillatus, 38. Let me show you because the leaves on the Sigillatus are pretty neat. Hoya Australis Lisa Variegated. These are real, they'll become quite pink if you give them enough light. Those are 19. They have variegated and non variegated carii, which is the heart, kind of the heart leaf shape. Hoyas 49. They have some um, variegated Hoya Carnosa Compactas 19. This is interesting to me. The Hoya Breviolata. It looks like it might be a shingling Hoya. Mm, they look in a little bit of rough shape, so maybe not, but they're really interesting. Like, I don't see these anywhere else. They have a lot of Hoya options. Hoya Croniana Black. 1995. Love those petite leaves and there's so many fun varieties of those. Hoya Rosita 24.95. This one looks like a Hoya Macrophylla but non-variegated. That is very interesting. I've not seen that before. kind of like it. I may be wrong on the name of that so let me know in the comments. Hoya Cro Croniana Splash 19. That's a good deal on a Croniana, some pubicalyx, pubicalyx, really easy, lovely, Yetii here. Then we have Croniana silver and Croniana black. These massive fishbone cactus are 49 and they're huge, huge. Beautiful, look at that, oh my goodness. This is the third and final greenhouse and then I'll make my decisions on what I wanna pick up today. There are so many fa fabulous choices, oh my goodness. I did a little stutter there because I am in shock of these massive, gorgeous lipstick plants. <gasps> look at this, lipstick Rasta, 29. Oh my goodness. You know I love those twisted, twisty lipstick plants. Oh, and it's blooming. $29 is a great price on that. Oh my word, that's huge. Wow, that's really pretty. They have Black Pagoda for 21. Come out and get them. This is, I mean, I'm telling you, this is such a fabulous plant. Look at this beautiful Ficus Radicans. 24, it's cute in the little hanging basket. These silver plants are beautiful. Look how silvery and lovely they are. The leaves are very, very thin and very, very fragile, so they would probably need a lot of watering. 39 for the Scandapsis Exoticas. Ooh, Lipstick Mona Lisa, Pagoda. Oh my gosh. They're $7.95. Then we have the Leopard Lily over here, 14. What is this beautiful plant over here? Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, do you think it would grow indoors? It's so pretty. Oh my word, this looks like um, an umbrellata. I'll double check that, but this one's stunning. This is the type of plant that it is. I looked it up, it's, an, um, it's a shrub, like an outdoor shrub, fast growing. But look at this leaf. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. And this one behind is a ficus umbrellata. Oh my gosh. You know what? This is a maybe. Yeah, Crazy Ashley might give this one a try. It is so beautiful. Oh my word. And I think it makes cute little flowers too. This one says it's a reversed spider plant. Is What does that mean? Is that like a... Uh, Reverse variegation, is this an uncommon type of spider plant? It's really beautiful. Look at it, and they're uh, blooming as well. So pretty. Ooh, here's a goldfish plant, black gold. 
I haven't seen this one before. The leaves are really red instead of green, 14. I have a variegated goldfish plant that is growing like crazy. I love it so much. All right, let's check out over here. Here we have some more of these silver squill or the variegated leopard lily. They have a lot of Syngonium or Nepenthes, $14.95 for Plum Illusion. This is a really fun Syngonium, Syngonium Mickey, $24.95, very pink, um, you know, with green mixed in. You can see the variegation. Kind of reminds me a little bit of tricolor, but with very skinny long leaves. Fascinating. Some more Plum Illusion, $9.95 and neon illusion 995 they do have syngonium batik so you can see these have received a lot of light and they've really kind of eased into their gorgeous variegation so it's interesting to see which plants respond really well to light and it kind of brings out their natural beauty and then some just become a bit washed out so that's cool syngonium golden and white butterfly let's see what else some more um philodendron hopes 19 some aurelia 895 ooh silver sword 2195 lovely wow look at that nice long leaf i love philodendron silver sword like what's there not to love about it pilea tiny tears 695 peperomia piccolo banda look at all those flowers this one's blooming like crazy uh watermelon peperomia 34 Peperomia berbella. Oh, this one's interesting. Hmm. It's a lot of fun. It has kind of like bubbly leaves. Peperomia Havana, $8.95. Peperomia green ripple, $5.95. Let me just move the camera so you all can see like how many blooms are happening on this peperomia. It's amazing. Ooh, the little goldfish plant um, back there is also blooming. Some autograph plants. These are, uh, yeah, so this one here is an autograph plant, and then this one is a peperomia. Shumi red. Then they have Kito, which is really kind of unusual. It's a yellow and pink and red peperomia. Some more peperomia Kito. Looks like these ones are more on the red side. Pilea friendship. Ooh, they have a Peperomia Hope. This is one of my favorite Peperomias. It is wonderful. Really thick, succulenty leaves, so easy care. Um, some of the Peperomias I've found can be a little challenging as far as making sure we don't under or over water. Peperomia Hope, not so much. It's not picky at all. Peperomia Napoli Light, Napoli Nights. I would err on the side of underwatering though with the Peperomia Hope and Peperomias in general. Pilea peperomia. No, that's not pepper. It's a peperomioides. Oh, what a pretty bird song. Peperomia scandens green. I love these because of how heart shaped these peperomia leaves are. I have this one, the variegated one. Great plant. This is obtusifolia peperomia variegata, $7.95. Rana verde, $8.95. Cubensis. I like that all these plants are labeled so you really know what you're getting. Here's the goldfish plants I pointed out. $7.95. They had the variegated ones here for a long time. I, I don't see them, but as I mentioned, uh, mine's growing so well. This is a little interesting plant. It's not labeled. It's pretty though. Rosso Peperomia Puteolata, $7.95. I love the lines on that. Orba variegata. This one's a Pilea red stem. Peperomia red edge. Peperomia obtusifolia green. And then Philodendron Adam. I think this one stays pretty tiny. It's those ones right there. $14.95. Oh, here's some more. These are a bit larger. $19. Oh, and then even bigger. $24.95. I love how they do that. They have the different sizes depending on what you are interested in. Some more goldfish plants, $14.95, Swedish Ivy. Isn't that pretty? I love that one. Money trees, some really big Syngoniums, 24. Cute little pine trees. It's kind of keeping it going here. Oh, a philodendron micans. There's a whole um, like philodendron section 
towards the end of this greenhouse, but $11, that's, oops, I'm sorry. Sorry, plant. Okay, that is a great deal on that. That's a really long trailing mykins, $11. Like, that's a steal. Fiddle leaf, 18. Here's the a vanilla plant, probably a cutting of their plant, which is really nice. Some different alocasias here. Um, tiny dancer, so cute. This looks like Amazonica or Polly, 24. Perhaps some Bambino back there. Some Monstera Deliciosa. Ooh, Monstera Stanleyana, 69.95. Monstera Dubia, 59. Look how cool that one is. Staghorn Fern, 995. Ooh, they, they have um, Staghorn Fern Elephatosis, 24. I love that. What a cool fern. Lots of gorgeous Dracaena, all different varieties. Hawaiian Sunshine, Florida Sunshine. Dorado, Dragon Tree, Gigantica, Limelight, Twister, Lemon Lime. All right, keeping it going, Eyelash Fern. Isn't this such a fun fern? $8.95 for the Eyelash Fern. Plumosa Fern, probably definitely in the top of my favorite ferns, the Plumosa. I just think it's such a beautiful plant. I'll pull one out so everyone can see. I just love that. I just love it so much. Spike Moss, Ruby Red, $8.95. <clears throat> Blue Star Fern, East India Fern, Autumn Fern. The colors on this Autumn Fern are really lovely. Crocodile Fern here. They have the heart, the Hartley Fern. I'll go on that side in a minute. Ooh, here's some different ficuses they have. Burgundy, $24.95. This one looks like a ruby over here. Then they have Tenneke, $24.95. I remember when Tenneke was so hard to find and it's so nice to like see them around everywhere now. Raphidophora tetrasperma, $11.95. They have Siltipacana, $14. A small dragon tail, $19. Again, depending on your budget, you can kind of pick out which size you want to get. Cordatum, $11.95. Brazil. Both those emeralds, $8.95. Hmm, interesting. There's only one of those left, so they must have gone fast. Absolutely massive mykins are $29. I want one so bad. Look how huge these leaves are and it's trailing all the way down here, $29. <gasps> what a statement plant. And you could even have it start trailing up your wall if you wanted to. It is so beautiful. And look at this huge pitcher plant back here too. Oh, $29 and they have a bunch of them. Tempting. And look, they have some really pretty Rex begonias as well. Here are those heart ferns I like. Crocodile fern, bird's nest fern. Just so many great choices. So what did we think? I've gone shopping at Oakdale a lot of times, but this was by far the best trip I've ever had. And there were like 10 plants I would have picked up and gone home with today, but I would have ended up spending like $1,000. But I still, you know, bought 
a few plants and wishlist plants and went over budget of what I probably would have wanted to spend, which was probably like 50 bucks maybe. I usually like to try to start with my favorite plant, but it's so hard to choose because I love them all. So first up is this Syngonium Wenlandii. I ended up getting three plants. So this one was $69. Look how beautiful it is. I knew the second I saw this plant that I was gonna buy it. It's, I've never seen one of these in the Charlotte market ever. The only time I've ever seen one of these was at Frog Daddy. Um, if you haven't seen that episode, definitely check it out because he has so many amazing rare plants. Um, but his were set up in like his vivariums for his frogs and stuff. But I've never seen one of these at a plant shop. So when I saw a huge one of these, I just couldn't believe it. So this has been a wishlist plant for forever. So thank you, Oakdale, for having one of these beautiful plants there. They had a lot there. And $70 is expensive, but I would much rather pay $70 and get a huge basket, healthy basket of this with like large adult form leaves than like a little tiny baby one for 40 bucks, you know? So look at this. Oh, I am like, I cannot stop staring at it. First of all, I love Syngonium. And this one is so different than other ones. I love the velvety green leaves. I love the like silver stripe down the center. I just love the shape of them. They're kind of like really pointy arrow shaped and the leaves are like, are really long. There are so many plants in this. I can propagate it if I want to. I'm just, it's so healthy. It's in great shape. I'm in love in love if you have one of these definitely let me know care tips you know syngonium are great i'll probably wait until it's about halfway dry and then give it a good drink and it likes like medium light so ah can you believe i found one of those i can't i'm so happy so that plant and this plant are probably tied i can't quite decide which one i love more I don't know, this one's pretty beautiful. So this is an Anthurium pterodactyl and I looked it up and it is a hybrid, a surprising hybrid at that. I think a lot of you probably already know, but it's a mix of a Clarinervium, which I definitely see. I It looks like a Clarinervium, this one does, and an Anthurium fingers. I couldn't believe that because the Anthurium fingers are the ones that have like all of the little, you know, kind of like fingers sticking out so this is a hybrid of those two plants isn't that so cool i just thought that was the most interesting thing ever i love how similar it is to a clarinervium because i think that's probably one of my favorite anthuriums and i think that's what sold me on it where like the really heart-shaped leaf except this one has like an it's like extra heart-shaped which i really appreciate and the leaves are so lush and beautiful and big. Now I ended up only getting one more plant um, because the bill was racketing up at this point, but I ended up getting this really cute variegated strawberry begonia. I had one in my bathroom for a long time and I don't know whatever happened to it. It just, I don't, I don't know if, what happened. <laughs> Has that ever happened to anyone else where all of a sudden you think, hmm, what happened to that one amazing plant I had that one time? So when I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, this is meant to be, I've been wanting one of these. So this one was only $7.95. They had the big hanging baskets as well for $16.95 if you want like a bigger plant. So you normally see just the solid green strawberry begonias, which are absolutely beautiful. They're not actually begonias. They are a saxifraga. Here's the name right here. And this one says it's called tricolor. So, you know, variegated tricolor and it's so beautiful. The one that I used to have hanging in my bathroom was so vibrant, so bright pink. Like the more pink you give this plant, the more pink it becomes. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's very, very pink underneath the leaves. And that really starts to pull through if it's given a lot of light on this plant. Now, if this plant goes um, too long being underwatered, it will become very crispy. Like the leaves will become 
kind of crispy around the outside and it probably enjoys humidity. So I wouldn't let this one stay dried out for too long of a period of time so as to prevent the crisping of the leaves. But it's a very, you know, it's a pretty easy care plant. Um, the leaves are thick enough that if it becomes a little dried out, it won't like die immediately. Like, you know, that as I always repeat myself, I know, but as a general rule of thumb, if a plant has like thicker leaves, that usually means that it can go a period of time without needing to be watered. So those are the three I chose. It was so hard to decide. I mean, if Oakdale continues on this trend, like, your girl's gonna be there every week because, maybe not every week because I'll have no money left, but it was amazing. I had such a blast and you know what? Thank you so much you guys for tagging along with me today. So don't forget to let me know which ones you would have picked up today. And if you'd like to see future planty videos in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe. And again, we have a great community on Instagram. You guys are the absolute best. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. As always, you will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye. They're so cute. I love them so much. Look at my plants. They're the best plants that I ever did. <laughs>